Petri. Today, I'm going to show how to change a background using a program called Smart Photo Editor. Yes, I know you can use things like Photoshop and other other programs, but I find Smart Photo Editor is a much, much quicker and simpler to exchange a background with. So without further ado, let's jump over to Smart Photo Editor. I've already uploaded an image I took a couple of years ago. Um, and what I'm going to do is just change that black background to a um, colourful background for yourself. Now for the sake of this, um, I'm not spending a lot of time choosing which image I'm going to put in the background. I'm just going to go to an image, change it, just so you can see how it works. So first and foremost, we move over to the right hand side where we've got composite. We'll click on that button and we move over to um, where it says underlay on the left hand side here. We we'll click on that and now open up your files. Find the image that you want. Let's just go with this nice red one. Okay, so that pops it in the background now. So now when you see I'm hovering over the character, um, the girl, you'll see that it's showing part of the background that's in, that behind this image. And all we do is left click and we just drag it where we want it. Okay, now I tend to go pretty quick um, over this because I will go over it in much more detail after I've got the main bulk of it brought into the image. Okay. So we just go over there, over there. We're going to go over the image in a minute um, on purpose, so then I can show you how to do to erase what you've just done. So let me just say I've done that. Okay. So I'm quite happy with where we've got so far. And because I've gone all the way around her, we've now got this little paint bucket. So we hover over that, and it shows you what it'll, what it'll do if you click on that button. So it brings the rest, say you currently and bring it in through your whole image. So now I want to go to erase because we've got this area that I've gone over. Okay, so I'm just going to expand the size on the left hand side here just to make it quicker. All the way over like that. And because we're even closer to the edge of a dress, I'm going to shrink that and make it give me a bit more control. Okay. There you are, that gives you a rough idea on that respect. Okay, now go back to where it says add to selection. Okay, and we can get closer. Because what we don't want is we don't want any of the black background hovering over uh, or outlining her where there's no, not going to be any dark areas. So obviously because of this background there are some dark areas in there so we can get away with quite a bit. Okay, it's the shoulder now. Okay, now I don't think it looks like she's quite sitting on the floor quite right, so we need to click on move, rotate, and scale on the left hand side here. So we can move that over, we can scale this image as much as we want to, want to scale it. I'm quite happy with it like that. I'll then click back to selection area because I've moved it. I can see that I've got a dark, um, some patchy area here that I've got to tweak. So we'll just touch on it over that. Overall, for what sake of three minutes, that's not so bad. Now what we do need to do though is crop it because we've still got a bit of black background here. So I'm just going to crop this here, bring this up a little bit, click on apply over here on the left, and now you've got your image. Okay. Obviously, if you want to do any other effects, you can click on the effects gallery, but that can be done in another tutorial. Until then, hopefully you like this. Um, if you do, please do leave us a comment on what you thought. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for future channels. I look forward to hearing what other um, content you would like me to, to go through, whether it's Lightroom, Photoshop, or Smart Photo Editor and other effects, camera gear, whatever it is. Um, try I'll see what I can do to help you. Until then, keep shooting and... Uh, Hope you have a great 2020. Take care. Bye-bye.